China's fast building techniques. Normally, it can take a couple of years to build a multi-story building or skyscraper. With instances such as the construction of the tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa, in the United Arab Emirates, taking five years to build its 163 floors, and the second tallest building, the 127-floor Shanghai Tower in China, taking seven years to complete further proves the point. Even Rome wasn't built in a day, as is most commonly said. However, a 57-story skyscraper has defied the odds, as it was built in just 19 working days using China's fast building techniques. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. The speed at which China's construction industry pulled these near miracles has long been the subject of discussion, and for some countries, jealousy. Some construction companies have successfully built skyscrapers in as little as two weeks. The question however, is are the foundations of China's breakneck building on shaky ground? As a result of the unfathomable speed, questions have been asked regarding the building's sustainability, longevity, and safety. To quell the worries, some analysts have said that the construction companies follow international building standards and regulations. Still, the question of how these near miracles are pulled is still a wonder to people. It is no secret that there would have to be some advantages that make everything get built so fast, including, but not limited to the high-speed rail connecting every town and subways underneath cities. Firstly, they don't have to negotiate for land because the state owns it all. So, there's no need to have those pesky public reviews or do environmental impact statements. They just decide where they want to put a train or a road and go ahead with it. Then there are the magic wands that make the buildings a reality in record time. China has developed all of this amazing machinery to do the work so quickly and efficiently. A practical example is the high-speed rail network that is elevated for much of its route to eliminate the need for level crossings. Usually, precast bridge sections would probably be delivered by truck and lifted into place by cranes. However, in China, they developed this incredible truck that drives along the rail, carrying a section of the precast concrete rail. With the precast acting as a counterweight, it telescopes out and drops legs onto the next pier, slides the rail out and drops it in place. Then, it lifts, rolls back, and drives back to pick up the next section. Rinse and repeat. It's a fantastic experience to watch. Some time ago, the Chinese construction company Broad Sustainable Building claimed itself to be the world's fastest builder after erecting a 57-story skyscraper in just 19 working days. Broad Sustainable Building, a prefab construction firm, put up the rectangular glass and steel mini sky city in the Hunan provincial capital of Changsha, assembling three floors a day using a modular method, according to the vice president, Xiao Changding. Mini Sky City has 19 atriums, 800 apartments, and office space for 4,000 people, with space in the building going on sale a few months after its completion. The structure is said to be safe and able to withstand earthquakes. The prefab construction company, Broad Sustainable Building spent four and a half months fabricating the building's 2,736 modules before construction began. The first 20 floors were completed in 2014, and the remaining 37 were built from January 31 to February 17, 2015. They had honed their technology to speed up construction from two floors to three floors a day, Xiao Changing added. The company, which specializes in prefabricated construction, prepared 90% of the structure at the factory before the site work began, and then, assembled the remaining 10% structure like a jigsaw puzzle at the site. This method is undoubtedly one of the major tricks behind China's fast building techniques, as it drastically cuts down on the construction time making the formerly unachievable feats, possibilities. What do you think about China's fast building techniques? Do you think they achieve these feats without compromising the safety and quality of the buildings? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.